Hi guys, I'm here to help you make your home very comfortable and welcoming places. And uh, by this, I'm gonna share with you some of the, some of the, how do we call them? Some of the tactics that I came up with of decorating our homes. And um, I'm gonna show you steps, procedures, and requirements. And I hope you follow this to make your homes beautiful. So guys, straight to the point. Let's talk about requirements. And the requirements we have gift wrappers. Stroke spray paint. Guys, when you go for gift wrappers, you should check the paper type. Hmm? You can fail to get the paper from one and find foil. I don't refuse. I still encourage you to have that. As long as you have a nice glue, it will attach, so don't worry. But if you can easily get that paper form, I'll add you to because it will work so well. Then, come along with your spray paint of any color that you desire or like. And you'll use if you fail to get the gift wrappers. Another thing we have glue. We can use Uhu or glue gun, but I'll add you to go for glue gun because it is really good. It sticks everything. It holds family everything. Anything that you want to hold, you can use glue stick. So never mind. If you have glue stick, my friend, you're good to go. We have boxes. The main thing, boxes, guys. It doesn't matter the type of box that you have. As long as it's a box, we can work with it. And then we have a cutter or a pair of scissors. We have a ruler, a marker, or a pen. And that's the end of our requirements. Straight to the steps. Um, uh, collect your boxes. As the main thing, collect your boxes and tangle them. After that, add them to the size that you first decide on, on the type, the type or the shape that you want your home, your, your wall hanging to, to appear. You get. You can choose circular, triangular or uh, square or rectangular. Name them. Whichever, whichever type of form that you want. So once you've decided on that, cut them into sizes. Cut your boxes. After You'll mark them first with a ruler or a marker, whichever thing you can use to mark them. Mark them. After that, you cut them into sizes, your desirable sizes. It doesn't matter the size that you want, guys. After cutting them into size, consider the thickness of your... Of your, of your consider the thickness of whatever thing that you cut, the box. You see... After considering, you'll, you'll maybe cut another box and then paste them to add on the thickness. Or you can just leave it like that. If you want it thin, if you want it thin, fine, you'll just have it like that. If you want it a lot more thicker, guys, you'll paste it. Cut, and, cut it twice and then paste it. And um, once you've done that, hold them into shapes that you want. Remember, if you didn't get gift wrappers, hmm? You can use normal papers. You just wrap them with normal papers with glue and then you spray paint them later once everything is completed. But when you did get your gift wrappers, just work on the thickness and then wrap them. After wrapping them, and then you start working on the shape that you wanted. Remember, if you had chosen triangular, circular, or what, or square, you can now start arranging them into square as you as you stick them together with your glue stick or uhu. and then after that you arrange them as you call as you connect them to form another bigger shape of how you want it to be and then once you're done with that you hang it so that's it we're good to go and all the best